Today I'm going to take a look at a digital multimeter uh, that uh, has uh, an uh, interesting function which is called auto range and I'm going to show you what's that about and how it works so not a lot of info on the box as you can see so let's take a look inside the box so we get a small user's manual which is in English very good as not a lot of people understand Chinese uh, this is a temperature sensor a very accurate temperature sensor so the test leads are here I'm gonna open them up They come with protective caps. Then moving on to the measuring unit. Has a nice feel. It's rubber, rubbery encased. So it's also a bit of shockproof and wearproof. And of course, it does not come with a battery. So I'm going to install one. works with a 9 volt battery like most uh, measuring uh, devices in this class and I'm gonna put the cap back right. also put the test leads take all the caps out right so moving on to its functions we get voltage for uh, DC current voltage for AC current uh, resistance measurement a beeper or a diode test temperature uh, and uh, of course current in uh, microamperes milliamperes and amperes it goes for uh, DC and AC together and you can also turn it off in these sides it also has some uh, other uh, button here which fun which is function but I don't know what that does I'm gonna look into the manual uh, this is the hold button which will uh, freeze the measurement uh, this will uh, memorize the maximum value Need the measurement, and we also get this uh, cool white backlight. And about the auto range, auto range is a function that is not found on this measurement unit. As you can see, this button has a lot more position for. So when I want to measure voltage, I get an option to measure up until 200 millivolts, up to 2 volts, up to tw 20 volts and so on. If I measure on the highest uh, value I can measure anything up to 1000 volts but I have low resolution as it will show an average of 1 volt for a 1.5 volts battery. I'm going to show how that works. If I select uh, 200 millivolts and I'm going to test the battery which has a greater voltage than that this has 1.4 volts I get an error it's a 1 so it's out of range if I go on the 2 volt uh, scale it will show the voltage properly and there we go it's 1.246 volts so we get a very high precision with 3 digits and if I go on the 20 volt volt scale sorry about my device it's a bit worn out it's 
to four volts as you can see we lose precision if i go on 200 volts it's 1.2 if i go on the 1000 scale i only get one volt as i told you so the advantage of uh, auto ranging uh, devices is that it will show you the best possible uh, resolution for the uh, size of your measurement so we should get something like two or three digits without needing to fiddle around its, uh, its adjustment uh, selector here so let's see what this battery has so it's 125 one you can see this uh, device only has uh, three digits maximum resolution like the other one so it's a bit off I'm going to use another unit to see which one of them is right but you can see I do not need to select voltage and it gives me the best precision so what happens when I increase the voltage so I'm going to move on to a bigger battery like this one this has over 20 vo 10 volts so on this device I'm going to use 20 volts scale and if I measure the battery it's 11.49 and on this device it's 11.70 uh, 57 sorry so shows uh, a greater voltage and now let's see which one is right so in the middle I have another uh, measurement unit which was uh, previously tested and it's uh, very good it has great accuracy I'm going to test the same battery again So I get 1.25878 and if I go to the new one it's 1.251 and it's a big and old one it's 124 and if I go on the 2 volt scale it's 1246 so the new unit is closer to the best performing unit while this is a bit off it shows lower values so I have shown you what's with the auto range function I hope that you understood it bye bye